friends welcome to our complex analysis video in today's video we will start the second module uh, module of complex analysis so in second module we will discuss the conformal mapping related points so let us see in conformal mapping first of all we will define what is transformation in the first video in the second video we will discuss the jacobian of the transformation and related problems conformal transformations some general transformations bilinear transformation critical points fixed point cross ratio fixed point of bilinear transformation and some points ever points related mcqs so this is very important and a topic so let us see in the first lecture what is transformation so come to the transformation this is the transformation transformation means uh, you can say that it is mapping so what is the mapping let us real values function fx equal to x squared graphically as we shown in the figure see here we have taken the simple example of the functions fx equal to x squared on substituting the values in the left hand side 1 in the right hand side becomes 1 of squared that means 1 in the left hand side when we substitute the values of 2 it becomes the values in the right hand side 2 square that is 4 3 3 square that means 9 so this is the way of way of mapping this is the way of mapping and you can say that this is the way of transformation graphically in xy plane this is y y equal to x square we will when uh, we will point out this values in xy plane we will see the curve like this fx equal to x squared so this is the representation of fx equal to x squared now let us consider the complex valued functions graphically as shown in the figure here w equal to fz as we know this is the complex function format w equal to fz equal to z squared and what is z z is equal to x plus iy so fz equal to x plus iy of all square simplification it becomes x square minus y square plus 2 ixy so x square minus y square plus i of 2xy so the complex function w equal to fz equal to u plus iv equal to x square minus y square plus i of 2xy since fz is equal to u plus iv as we know so u of xy plus iv of xy equal to x square minus y square plus i of 2xy so this see here complex function has should be has a change in the form of complex x square minus y square plus i of 2xy so friends this is the z plane you can say this is the z plane z plane means that it is the xy plane xy plane you can say that this is the z plane now uv plane this is the uv representation and the meaning of this is z plane so uv representation is denoted as the w plane means uv plane you can say that or w plane so this is the representation format when we transform z uh, plane to w plane when we uh, say that this is a z plane that means in in mind we create the x y values and when we say this is the uv plane means w plane that means this is the complex functions format now this is the definitions of the transformation or mapping you can say that let w equal to fz equal to u plus iv is a complex valued function we have already uh, discussed uh, in example W equal to f z equal to u plus i b 
is nothing. It is a complex valued function of a complex variable z where z equal to x plus i y and u equal to u of x y and v of x y. Then we get some corresponding between points u v in w plane with the point x y in z plane u v plane to x y plane because we have taken the values z equal to x plus i y and we conclude here in terms of w plane. w plane is called mapping or transformation of z plane into the w plane. z plane into the w plane. Again we repeat uh, again uh, I am repeating the same definitions here w equal to fz equal to u plus iv be a complex valued function of a complex variable z and where z equal to x plus i y where u equal to u of x y and v equal to v of x y then we get some corresponding between the points u v in w plane with the point x y in z plane is called mapping or transformation of the point z into the w plane. Here we have taken some examples you will easily uh, clear the meaning of uh, w plane and z plane. See here w equal to z square and here z equal to 1 plus 2i. So friends here see here w equal to z square on substituting the value of z we got the result in terms of w w equal to minus 3 plus 2 minus 3 plus 4i. So See here the representation meaning of the W plane and Z plane. First of all, Z plane. Z plane means uh, uh, in previously we already had to say that the Z plane means X Y plane. So here the meaning of Z plane means the X Y point is one comma zero. So this is the meaning one comma zero. This is nothing. This is the Z plane, and this is the point P. This is the point of P. Not, not 30 this is the point of p that is 1 comma 2 now w plane see here when we change z plane into the w plane see here this is the w plane and the point becomes minus 3 comma 4 this is the second coordinate minus p becomes the p dash minus 3 comma 4 this is the representation of w plane so this is the representation of w plane so friends what we uh, conclude uh, in today's lecture we just had to go through what is the meaning of the mapping and uh, what is the meaning of uh, meaning means uh, meaning of the mapping nothing mapping it is the transform and how we will change uh, z plane to w plane so in the next video we will discuss discuss the another format of the conformal mapping that is the Jacobian of the transformation we will discuss in our second video. So thank you.